Hey guys, Josh with the Adept Ape channel here today, and today we're going to be discussing a question that I get a lot of. What is a short block? What is a long block? What is a complete? What is an in frame? What is an out of frame? Well, what you'll need is a tape measure, and you're going to need to go out to your garage. Okay, actually not. So, kind of counterintuitively, a short block and long block have nothing to do with either the height or the length of your engine. They are basically just a stage of completion on an engine. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's start with the very basics. Let's start with a bare block. Now, this will apply to either gas engines or diesel engines, and I'm going to be using a Chevy V8 for our gas engine today. So, what is a bare block? Well, a bare block is basically just your most stripped down basic engine block. Here is a bare block. Now, this won't have a crank in it. Some of them don't even have freeze plugs. You won't have any bearings. It is possible cam bearings could be installed, but a true bare block is just a bare block. There's no cylinder heads, nothing. So, that is the base engine. Then you can build off of that. So the next stage of an engine would be a short block. And a short block is a bare block, but with the rotating assembly installed. Now, what do I mean by the rotating assembly? I mean the crankshaft. You're going to have your main bearings. Your main bearings are going to be installed because your crankshaft's going to be in there. You have to have mains if you're going to have a crank. You're going to have your piston packs. So your pistons are going to be installed with the rings, which means the rods will be in there. And with the rods, you'll have rod bearings. Most likely, if it's a pushrod engine, you'll also have your cam bearings installed. So that is the short block. So it's a bare block with the rotating assembly installed. Now, depending on what type of short block you get, it may or may not have a camshaft. It may or may not have a water pump, any of the other items that are driven off of your block. So, what's a long block? Is it something on the end to make it longer? Well, no. A long block is simply your short block, so you have your rotating assembly in your block, with the heads installed. So a long block is a short block with your head gaskets and your heads installed. And that's technically what a long block is. Now what else does a long block come with? Well, that really is based on the manufacturer. So you may or may not have a camshaft installed. You may or may not have a water pump, an oil pump, an intake manifold. Uh, you're going to have the valves and the valve springs installed because those can't be installed after the heads are installed. But you may not have any valve train. You may not have push rods, rocker arms, anything like that. You might not have your timing gears installed. So these are all things to keep in mind if you're possibly looking at a long block. So what's after a long block? Well, that would be either a complete or sometimes called a turnkey engine. And that's kind of a misnomer as well because not all turnkeys are going to come with everything you need. They may just come with, you know, your distributor, um, spark plug wires, spark plugs. But sometimes, you know, a, a complete... Um, you know, it might not have an air cleaner assembly, uh, might not have valve covers, something like that. But usually a complete's going to be the closest you can get to just bolting in and going. And that applies to a diesel or a gas engine. So let's look at a diesel engine. So let's say you have an RV with a Cat 3126 in it. And you need a new engine. Your engine's worn out. Well, you might look at a long block and say, hey, that's a pretty good price uh, compared to a complete engine. But you'll notice a lot of the long blocks are missing a lot of key items that can almost double the price. So a long block is probably not going to come with a Huey pump. It's probably not going to come with injectors. It may or may not come with a new camshaft, oil pump, water pump, oil cooler. These are items that can double the price of that engine if you're looking at getting just a long block. Now, Let's move into what is an in-frame, what is an out-of-frame, and also we're going to talk about rebuild kits. 
Okay, so let's talk about what an in-frame is compared to an out-of-frame. Well, an in-frame usually applies to a diesel engine. Most diesel engines have removable liners, like I'll show you here that I'm doing an in-frame on in this rebuild video, opposed to most automotive engines, which do not have replaceable liners. So on a diesel engine, most of the engines are designed to be rebuilt in the chassis. Now, what it means by in-frame is you're not removing the engine out of either the RV, truck, bus, whatever it's in. You can rebuild it in place with all of the item, with the block in place. So you don't have to remove the block from the transmission, get it out of the uh, whatever chassis you're in. So what's an out-of-frame? Well, that would be if you're pulling the engine out. And most automotive applications, you can't do an in-frame because they don't have removable liners. So you would either have to get the block machine or get a new short block or a new long block. And some diesel engines do not have removable liners either, or maybe your block has been damaged, in which case you would be buying a new short block or a new long block. So let's look at the different options you have if you're getting an in-frame. And let's look at a real popular engine, the CAT C15. So I'm bringing up something here called the CAT Precious Metals Kits. So if you have Basically, any CAT engine that's a C10, 3406, C13, C15, pretty much any on-highway engine outside of the C7 or 3126, you can get these. And most manufacturers have rebuild kits, Cummins, International. And you kind of pick your level. So you can go on the CATs from bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And whatever level you get, obviously, is more expensive, but you get a higher level rebuild. So you may have heard, oh, this engine had a platinum kit installed. Well, what's a platinum kit? A platinum kit is basically in total in-frame done. You get new cylinder packs, which is a piston, the liner, rod bearings. You get new main bearings, thrust bearings. You'll get new injectors, a new cylinder head. And on a C15, that would come with new cam bearings. If you're doing a 13 or any of the push rod engines, the cam bearings may have been reused. You'll, you get, you'll get new head bolts. You'll get new injectors, new water pump, new oil pump. You can add an oil cooler at this time if you wish. If there's any other issues, you're going to get an oil change, obviously. New oil filter, new fuel filters. So that's an in-frame opposed to an out-of-frame. Okay? I seem to get this question a lot because I think there's a lot of uh, miscommunication on the internet as to what a long block is, oh, what you're gonna get. Now, there's also other manufacturers that will make different kits than just the manufacturer of the engine. So let's talk about them. So maybe you're broke down somewhere. You may have a Cummins engine, cat, whatever, and you get a price quote. And you might think, oh my gosh, this is really expensive. Well, there is an aftermarket out there for rebuild kits. Whether you want a long block, short block, or an in-frame done. There's companies such as Jasper, Blackwater Engines, and also Highway and Heavy Parts. They all make anywhere from basic reseal kits, they'll make remanufactured long blocks, short blocks, uh, basically their own version of the Platinum kit you can get, and usually at a much cheaper price. The downside, of course, is you're getting non-manufacturer parts O-rings, pistons, they're all going to be aftermarket. Also, if it's being done in a shop, if you're at a Cummins shop or a CAT shop, they're not going to honor the parts warranty, typically, of whatever outside source you're going with. So if you get a Blackwater engine or Jasper engine, they put it in for you, it fails. It's not their responsibility, the installer's responsibility, to follow up on the warranty. Unlike if you buy a CAT engine that costs more and they put it in, well, that's going to be covered by the dealership, but you're going to pay more. So it's really a balance issue there. So hopefully that clarifies what the difference between a short block, long block, a complete, uh, what's an in-frame, what's an out-of-frame for you guys. Okay, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section, and thanks for watching.